Welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill. For more information, go to basingstokesalvationarmy.sermon.net forward slash battle underscore drill underscore daily underscore devotionals. Welcome to Battle Drill for today. Our Bible reading is Genesis chapter 1, starting at verse 1 and going on to chapter 2, verse 3. Let's read it together. The Account of Creation In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness night. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the first day. Then God said, Let there be a space between the waters, to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens. God called the space sky. And evening passed and morning came, marking the second day. Then God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place, so dry ground may appear. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land, and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with vegetation, every sort of seed-bearing plant, and trees that grow seed-bearing fruit. These seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came. And that is what happened. The land produced vegetation, all sorts of seed-bearing plants, and trees with seed-bearing fruit. Their seeds produced plants and trees of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the third day. Then God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the seasons, days and years. Let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth. And that is what happened. God made two great lights, the larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, to govern the day and night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. An evening passed and morning came, marking the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water, and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind and God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, let the fish fill the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image, to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, Look, 
I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky and the small animals that scurry along the ground, everything that has life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. And evening passed and morning came, marking the sixth day. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. Amen. We are made in God's image. Every aspect of our humanity is made after God. That includes our physical, spiritual, emotional, intellectual and social dimensions. And if we neglect any of these, it can have destructive consequences. Many Christians are taught to approach life and God through fact and faith. What is important is what we believe and what is true. And these are important, of course. But this teaching sometimes leads us to ignore, maybe even suppress, our feelings, our emotions. Bad feelings, like anger, we're led to believe are dangerous and must be stuffed back down inside ourselves, never to become exposed. But God works through these feelings and emotions too. We only have to read the Psalms to see that. God can meet us in our sadness, in our depression and in our anger. He lovingly comes to us when we experience these emotions and speaks to us. He offers us the invitation to change through those experiences. When we can understand this, then a revolutionary transformation can take place. It can transform our discipleship as a follower of Christ. It can change our marriages, our parenting, our friendships and even our churches. So as you think about that today, use these questions. What does your physical body tell you about your feelings? Do you ever have a knot in the stomach, a tension headache, grind your teeth, have sweaty palms or difficulty sleeping? What is your physical body trying to tell you? I hope to see you again soon for another battle drill. We hope you've been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for another battle drill. God bless you.